Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, man. This is the kind of cars we rode around with like our grandfather in, or we had some cool friend that had one. So few people had an El Camino or a Ranchero. You knew those people, they were automatically cool. And for some reason, those people always were really strong too. I don't know why, but I just do what I remember back in school. This right here, just freshly painted. We just finished it up. We're finalizing some details. We detailed the undercarriage, the engine compartment. Most of that was rebuilt. We have receipts for some of these things. Uh, the last couple things we have left, I'm going to walk around and show you like we finished the battery topper, got the correct air cleaner. I wanted to do the video before uh, we got stuff came in so we didn't keep it lingering longer. And we can decide whether wheels and tires work for you like this or you want something a little bit different, which is why I love this place. We can customize it, kind of do the couple little things to make it your own, and uh, that is it. So let's take a minute. We're going to look at the quality of the paint. Since we had the car painted, I'm uh, pretty impressed. Uh, yes, I'm biased, but I think that you'll be happy with it too. All right, so the part of the restoration as we're working our way through, the mechanical was done. We detailed the engine and undercarriage, painted the car. Uh, you can see the pictures uh, all sanded down and then um, primed base coat, clear coat. And I have to tell you that paint and body work is really wrapped up in the prep of it, right? It's not wrapped up in the top coats and the paint. You and I can paint and I've never painted before. It's the prep. And you'll know I'm telling the truth here when you say, let's remember that nail pop that you had at home. You thought you sanded really well and then you painted it in the bathroom and you could still see the nail pop, right? That you don't see in here. There's a lot of good work put into the body of this. It looks really, really good. And the reason I say come on here and check out the paint is so that you can read each and every letter. Man, you can see them nice and clear. Make sure they're crisp and clear letters. The crisper the letter is, the better the paint quality is. All right, let's talk about value of cars. All new paint, a rebuilt drivetrain, upgraded modern style air conditioning, right? Power brakes, power steering, okay? All of the detail done in here, nicely painted and what have you. You could go to a car show, open the hood and feel good about this, right? This is a nice driving, cool car, man. And these cars continue to go up in value. Why? Because there's so few of them. And here, uh, as we're getting a little bit older, like myself, the AC comes in really, really handy. And we will go inside and see how this blows through our beautiful long blonde hair. All right, so come join me in here because, you know, we talked about outside some of the cool custom stuff. We looked at the wheels and tires, a custom air conditioning that was under there. Custom wheel inside here, full set of Equus gauges, right? 120 mile an hour speedometer, uh, 8,000 RPM tack, water temp, oil, stuff like that. Upgraded digital sound system in here. Dash kind of painted body color, but it's kind of cool because look, man, you can go with two other people, right? Where else can you get something like this? You're wheeling around in a cool old muscle car with a bed to go to Home Depot in or go to a party in. <laughs> this is just so much fun. I get all giddy about it because I think, you know what? When's the last time you saw one? All right, so one of the things I love about these versus say other muscle cars and things like this is the multi-faces that this has. First off, it's utilitarian, meaning you could use this car. Could you imagine going to Home Depot to pick up some boxes and put it in the back of your cool muscle car, right? And uh, I like this. The bed's all been coated, okay? So it's all here, nice, just like you get a Rhino line bed in a modern pickup, it has that in here as well. And uh, they painted all inside the jams when we did this. And lastly, I don't know if you know, but the tailgate party was invented how? By hanging out on the tailgate. A ranchero is the greatest place to do that. All right, so we close up the video and let's talk about the stuff that we've done to the car. That's expensive, right? Over time, this, is, uh, this restoration just becomes a lot of dollars. Body and paint all done. Engine and transmission were done. Detailed undercarriage, detailed engine compartment, right? Uh, Rhino lined for the uh, bed itself. Uh, the custom gauges in there, all the little things that make for a cool driving car. This is a great value on top of the fact that these are continuing to go up in value. And the reason I know that, you say, well, Tone, how could you possibly know this car is going to go up in value? And you're right. I don't know that for a fact, but I do know this. This car was originally around uh, in the $3,000 range, and it's no longer selling for $3,000. So clearly, it's a great investment. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool ranchero. And don't forget to like the video if you would, and share this with some friends, and subscribe to the channel. Every time some new videos come in, we'll be happy to send them to you.